Hello, survivors. This is Jeff Keen, otherwise known as Zag. I'm the design director of Sandswept Studios and the project lead for The Dead Linger. I'm about to tell you stuff. Whether you've never heard of The Dead Linger or you've been checking it out for a while, this next bit is a quick run-through of what we're doing, where we've come from, and what our plans are for creating the definitive zombie apocalypse that is TDL. To get the basics out of the way, The Dead Linger, otherwise known as TDL, is the definitive zombie apocalypse survival experience. We're not making a survival game, we're not making a zombie game. We are making a zombie survival game, in the purest sense. No mutant zombies, no nonsense. Just zombies, and classic shambling zombies at that. We want survivors to experience the movie-like epic of the zombie genre, and yes, that means real barricading too. TDL takes place in a massive, fictional North American landscape, procedurally generated and sprawling for mile upon mile. The world size is 63,000 kilometers, to be exact, and every time you generate a world you get a brand new one. And yes, it has multiplayer, both for cooperative survival and various PvP modes. Our main focus is to simulate the zombie apocalypse of our dreams, originally inspired by books The Zombie Survival Guide and the original graphic novel The Walking Dead. As of late, the zombie genre has suffered from the spray-and-pray survivor, mutant zombies, and invisible walls. The zombie genre has died. We're bringing it back from the dead. If you're new to our game, keep in mind this is alpha and it's completely unfinished. That means the graphics suck giant, dirty, zombie and the gameplay, as of this video, only has about 30% of the total intended features in the game. Check the video description or visit thedeadlinger.com slash roadmap to view the roadmap for the dead linger, to see where we've come and where we're going. We'll be rolling out new build updates about every two to three weeks, which you'll download from Steam. Oh yeah, speaking of Steam, The Dead Linger is now on Steam. We'll get to that in a minute. I'd also like to take a moment to remind everyone how we work. At Sandswept, the majority of our team is working full-time. The pre-orders for The Dead Linger allow us to work harder, faster, and better, and the amount of survivors picking up the game during Alpha, at a discounted price, are directly influencing the quality and polish we put into the game. Like most any developers, we work regular job hours. You know, the old 9 to f Oh my god, it's 2 in the morning on a set. We'd like to thank all the survivors who have joined us so far, and we'd like to welcome all the survivors joining us now. You've all waited so patiently, and it's finally here. Welcome to Build 10, the big engine change and Steam release. In our best kept secret of all time, we have indeed ported the entire game over to the Unity 3D engine. It's incredible how no one guessed that. Except everybody. We've not only kept everything you know and love about the Deadlinger intact, We've already begun making sweeping improvements to the gameplay, stability, and more. Let's go over some of the improvements you'll find in Build 10. First off, the Deadlinger Alpha is now on Steam Early Access. In fact, there's a great chance you're watching this right now to figure out what the hell this game is that just popped up on your radar. If that's you, welcome to the apocalypse. As for our earlier adopters, you've already purchased, so you already own a Steam copy. If you've never received your Steam code for pre-ordering before Early Access, please let us know and we'll get that sorted out for you. We're always listening, and we're very nice. Well, except Parker when he doesn't get his morning coffee. You'll also notice a ton of new graphical improvements to the day-night cycle and lighting, specifically. The sun now shines pretty sun shafts through the trees and over the rooftops. The nighttime is brighter, but the shadows, both during day and night, are much darker, leading to much darker building interiors, even when the sun is out. Keep your flashlight handy. The day-night cycle time rate has changed a bit as well. Now, now, before you panic and accuse us of being a bunch of casual <laughs> noobs, Listen carefully to this entire segment. Daytime is now 40 minutes long, and nighttime is now 25 minutes long. However, this will likely change in the future as we add more light sources to make nighttime more bearable, as well as ways to sleep through long nights, at least in solo mode. In the meantime, server admins will be able to change the time rate and set it up custom to whatever you want. So if you want much longer nights, and you think short nights are too casual for your awesome blah blah blah, you know. I'm a rainy day kind of guy, can't you tell? In the Dead Linger Build 10, we've added some basic weather effects. They're primitive, kind of crummy, but they add the basic atmosphere we plan to have in the final game. We have a lot of improvements planned, including but not limited to making the zombies react differently during rainfall, fog, and so on. Grab an umbrella, because it's raining zombie cats and dogs. Along with changing the size and shape of windows and houses to better accommodate realism, we've placed destructible blinds across the windows of a house. We will add the ability to open and close them later on, but the art for this feature wasn't quite ready for O10. Blinds will block a zombie's line of sight through a window. There is one final and very substantial change made in Build 10. Old school survivors, you may want to take a seat for this one. We've rescaled the world a bit. Zones were originally, on average, about one kilometer, or a thousand meters in size. We have scaled zones down to 512 meters in size, in order to decrease travel distance and reduce the amount of blank open fields in the dead linger. 
We may play with this size more in the future, but we found that this change creates a much more interesting and diverse world, as well as allows us to change some of the movement speeds of the survivor to feel more realistic. You'll still have to do a bit of walking until we add vehicles. Bicycles are first on the list, by the way. But we feel this change really helps keep the world more intimate for the survivor. And you know us. We like our intimacy. We're making the zombie apocalypse of our dreams, and we're bringing you along for the ride. You can pre-order and play the alpha right now by purchasing the game on the Steam store. We're always listening to feedback and suggestions, so be sure to follow us on Twitter at The Deadlinger. You can learn more about the game at thedeadlinger.com slash info, and you can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash thedeadlinger. I'd also like to remind you that you can check out our progress on the roadmap at thedeadlinger.com slash roadmap, and uh, that's enough links for now. You can check out the video description to get all those other links. Be sure to like, favorite, and spread the word to your friends. The zombie apocalypse is coming. Make sure you aren't left behind. Linger on, survivors. <laughs>